We're going to show you a little bit of downtown Englewood. Plus, take you to two different beaches in the area. What we doing? At Mango Bistro. Oh, snap, I didn't even notice. Look at all this. And the, so we're on Dearborn Street in Englewood. And you can see some of the remodeling. Oh, I didn't notice we never saw something personal. We're close and personal. Some sparkly stuff in here in different colors. Some purplish, bluish. That's very cool. It looks much cooler up close than further away with the blue brick. And then, yeah, this is going to be like a spot for like little concerts or whatever. So part of the road is still closed down. But once it's done, I think this is going to be really nice. It already is kind of a cool little place to hang out. And Mango Bistro is one of our favorite places. Yes. Well, one of your favorite places. It's not one of yours? Mm -hmm. It's like solid for you? I just come along for the ride. Yeah. yeah. I think it's above average. I don't think it's amazing food, but really good. And I love the vibe. So here we're walking towards Mango Bistro. And it was quite the adventure actually to get here because of all the, the construction going on. A lot of the different little side roads and the main road is definitely shut down. And it's always moving from one week to the next right now. So hopefully that'll be done soon. But you can see there's actually quite a few people here still despite all that. Because it's a pretty popular spot. It's kind of got like a tropical island vibe. Even though you're really not that close to the water. You're probably a good couple of miles from the water. And they do have a good menu. It's kind of different eclectic, a little bit of French, a little bit of Caribbean vibes, all kinds of stuff kind of mixed in. Thai even as well. So I like it because of that. I like different food and I like things that are a little bit unique and they do not disappoint on that side of things. And they got your church show American stuff as well. So these popsicles are awesome. We had them in St. Petersburg. They actually had a whole hippo store. They're really good. So downtown Englewood has a lot of little different shops and different restaurants. We actually took you in a different video from one end to the other and we'll have that link in the description box below. Yeah, literally every square inch of the downtown we pretty much covered. So definitely check that out. So here we're walking on Beach Road in Englewood and this restaurant, the Waverly, is actually pretty cool. You can go and sit up um, on the rooftop and you can partially see the water. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, they got a nice little balcony area, both downstairs and then upstairs. Good food, lots of different drinks and things like that. And then all around this area, really, there's a bunch of other like little restaurants. Lock and Key, we ate there. That was good. Yeah, Lock and Key has like the best, um, I believe they're called fish fingers, and they're like so good. <laughs> I wouldn't know about that because I don't eat seafood, but totally recommend <laughs> yeah if you're into that definitely a great spot for that kind of stuff and i mean if you're not into seafood they had options i was still happy with my food there but you can see they got a circle k little convenience store they got uh that hippo popsicles that we showed you earlier you'll see those in a second we end up getting those little bars uh, restaurants definitely I would say it feels a little more lively at night and just kind of has more of that kind of bar vibe that you don't get in like downtown Venice which is very close to Inglewood yeah and they have a lot of um, live music at night too like all the different bars and restaurants have live music and you can see on this sort of side street area too that we're walking around that there's some dolphin and sunset tours and things like that white elephant pub is a pretty popular place we haven't been there yet and there you can see the popsicles that we got which are pretty much like all natural which is kind of cool there's not a lot of like additives and stuff in them and here we're at the beach this is like a little park before you get to the beach there's also like a little walkway so if you don't want to walk on the sand you can walk on this walkway and it's pretty cool yeah, you can enjoy all the ocean vibes or the gulf vibes as many would say the boardwalk is pretty long you know it goes all along the beach and then you can see that also there was a basketball court playground equipment you know picnic tables grills so even if you're not going to maybe go in the water you can still hang out for the entire day really between that and all the shops and restaurants and things in the area so it's a cool area one thing also to note that is different about this than like the venice beaches and the other beach we're going to show you in a second is you do have to pay for parking here i want to say it's like about a dollar an hour if i remember correctly you pay through an app it's not too bad but it is something to consider and you can see the water is looking pretty one thing i love about the anglewood beach is that 
right across from it there is a lot of different restaurants so if you're at the beach and you want to spend all day at the beach you can simply walk across the street and grab a bite to eat or perhaps maybe even a drink now this is another beach that we went to called blind pass and that's in the middle of Minnesota key we've got another video of Minnesota beach which is at the other end of Minnesota key we'll link you to that in the description blind pass is one we don't get to as often it's kind of more in the middle so it's a little bit of a I don't know it makes it more secluded it's a little harder to get to uh, yeah this is also a nice beach and it is in between basically um, Englewood Beach and Minnesota Key Beach and a lot of people actually do go to this beach but it's not as big as the other two. Yeah it's weird because I feel like it's one of the quieter beaches but at the same time it seems more popular with like the locals. I think it's maybe like a good go-to because it's a little less hectic and there is also it doesn't free have the fame here. Yeah, it doesn't have the fame as the other ones. And yeah, free parking's a win too. And really, I mean, Minnesota Beach, Blind Pass Beach, Englewood Beach, they're all pretty similar overall as far as like the actual water, the sand, you can find prehistoric shark teeth, seashells. There's not a lot of difference in that side of things. So the difference with this one is there's not as much stuff right by it like Inglewood Beach, and really Manasota Key Beach, for that matter, doesn't have as much by it. It's just, you know, basically your bathrooms. We actually took a shuttle service on a golf cart all the way from Inglewood Beach down to Minnesota Key Beach, and we got some video of this area on a golf cart, so it's pretty cool. We'll have that linked in the description box below as well. Further away, if you do drive in, you can see here they got like the picnic tables and a little bit of playground equipment. And there's also two or three different kayak lounges. With the mangroves and stuff like that, by the water it's kind of reminiscent of the smaller keys in the florida keys if you've ever been there if you want to maybe save a little expense you can go to blind pass beach and go there probably a little bit cheaper than the florida keys if you're looking to buy or sell in the venice sarasota englewood or northport areas make sure to call text or email me my information will be in the description box below if you want to see more about englewood florida click the playlist that's popping up on the screen hit the like button subscribe turn on all notifications and live, live breezy, breezy.